Tri-State's News Leader. WGEM News Today begins with a breaking news update. Tenants are displaced this morning. Units are damaged after a massive fire at a Hannibal apartment complex. Good morning. That fire broke out about 830 last night at Park Terrace Apartments in Hannibal. That's in the 1400 block of 30th Street. The investigation this morning turns to what caused that fire. WGEM's Isabella Rossi is live on scene this morning with new information on that. Isabella, what can you tell us? Yes, well, Natalie, right off the bat, you can see behind me here, there are still firefighters on the scene. We've seen them coming in and out of the building this morning, going over what is happening right now inside. And they've told us now that the fire investigator who is coming from Jefferson City should be here starting at 9 a.m. to start investigating the cause of that fire. They say what they know right now is that four units they believe will be a total loss out of this building with 12 units total. And they say 17 tenants have been displaced placed right now. WGEM's Mackenzie Henderson was here on the scene just after the fire started last night and she talked with residents here uh, as they watched their homes go up in smoke. Angela Reagan can only watch and wait in the dark. They won't let tell us anything. As firefighters put out a fire in her building at Park Terrace Apartments in Hannibal. We were fixing supper and Heard the fire trucks looked out and it was smoky. Came out here and there's flames shooting out the other apartment building and coming towards ours. And it was just, they were like, five minutes go, let's go, let's go, let's go. She sits here helpless without renter's insurance. Never even thought about it. Or her cat Gizmo, who was trapped in her unit. Very hard because he's like a little, he's like my little, like a child to me. She's not the only one. Well, they're looking for a pet. This firefighter finds one cat, but it's not Angela's nor this couple's. Yeah, we got two cats up there. Meanwhile, families come to offer support. Well, we were actually about to go to bed and my aunt had called and she was like, uh, the apartment's on fire. And my stepmom was like, what? And my mom, my mom was like, just get out, go. We have to go to them and make sure they're okay. A chaotic scene for firefighters. We ended up doing an all call, calling everybody in that was off duty. Who had trouble getting water at first? What had happened was that they drug the four inch line up the hill. Sometimes when that charge the line, that'll spin. It's supposed to have locks on it. Something might not have been locked, kicked it open, and that kind of gave us a little bit of a delay at first. They say the fire was in the attic, which is why smoke spread to all 12 units in the building, leaving 17 tenants out in the cold. Just Mom. hope everyone's safe and has a warm place to stay. In Hannibal, Mackenzie Henderson, WGEM News. And like I said just a couple minutes ago, the fire investigator should be here from Jefferson City starting at 9 a.m. to look for the cause of that fire. We've also heard from the Hannibal Fire Chief, Mike Benjamin, that he called the Red Cross and the property manager, Paula Slater, called the Salvation Army to help those 17 tenants who are displaced. Live in Hannibal, I'm Isabella Rossi, WGEM News.